So this is probably the most famous uh, photograph of women protesting outside the White House. And the, uh, the text of their banners reads, Mr. President, how long must women wait for liberty? And Mr. President, what will you do for women's suffrage? Um, this is 1918, so it's the, at the end of uh, Wilson's terms uh, as president. Um, and they had been waiting for Wilson to make a commitment in one direction. Now, this is on the eve, of course, of the passage, which comes by the end of the, end of the year in 1920. Um, you can see that they are boldly demanding um, rather than politely asking. And that, too, is a change in not only the tactics of the suffrage movement itself, but kind of the tenor of public debate in the country that there was an opportunity with this, with urbanization, with increasing mass media, which became more and more, some, some, I'm sure some contemporaries thought vulgar, and um, other contemporaries thought frank and direct. There, there also is a frankness and a directness that's new to the suffrage campaign. The, the parade that I was talking about uh, were with women all dressed in white, and, and, and not all the women were dressed in white. Some of them are dressed in academic regalia or their professional insignia um, to, to signify that these are a wide range of women from different backgrounds. That same parade allowed black women to march at the back. And that was a, um, I'm sure, a very uh, difficult moment for many people in the parade, for black women and for white women who were, had been committed to the principle of racial equality which included many of the leaders of the suffrage movement who had made some, some very, I'm sure, painful compromises um, with that philosophy, hoping to bring southern states where the principle of Jim Crow and segregation was front and center throughout this time period. This is often you know, talked about as the nadir of race relations in the United States, and lynching is um, an issue that has been brought to the fore by black women such as Ida B. Wells Barnett, who's at that parade and refuses, in fact, to walk at the back. And at the last minute just emerges out of the crowd and joins uh, somewhere towards the middle to the front. And that was also an exciting moment um, for Ida B. Wells Barnett, for, for the history of, of the women's suffrage movement her defiance of the racism within the movement um, signaled a unwillingness of black women to take that back seat.